Believe me when we're like this is why I wanted to go with the 16 to get extra space, but it'll work. Move everything in that way, this way. I might do it that way, this way, back to where I had it. I think I might have to do that to get that over. But I wanted to have that door open, access to get in there. We'll have to see. Which is kind of neat up here. This is fascinating. This motorcycle stop actually may work for the lawnmower. That wheel looks like it'll fit perfectly in there. And, and actually where it's at is just fine. Or I might have to move it up forward more. But right now I had a, I had it in the middle and it was happening. The wheel was just touching this point, just touching that point. And I said, well, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna puncture right through the tire. So moved it over anyway. It allows you to get more access to the door. Well, I'm experiencing this for the first time. So bear with me. And like I said, I can put the, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and put the leaf blower right there. I'm not going to put all my weed whacker and stuff until I get racks and everything, so I'll just leave them in the back of the truck for right now. Or I might just leave them there for now. I'm going to go cut grass. I'm going to try to use this. I got to fix that bolt on the bottom. I actually have the bolt, the new one. Now i got to find it, but everything fits in there nicely. That's snug. I mean, look at that. Right up against that wheel. The problem is my tie down is behind there. And... It's not going to go forward, I can tell you that. Be more worried about it going backwards right now. That tie down is there, it's covered up. Well, we'll have to see. Well, it works. Really can't go anywhere. I'm going to put some new tie downs there. I put the lawnmower sideways, it seems to do long work better than putting it in this way because it allows my tie down to get a full secure on it. Um, I'll have to show you the front up there in a second. There we go. So, as you can see, toolbox that came with it. I'm gonna close the wind and I'll blow everything around. That is actually a wheel, a motorcycle wheel chalk, which, um, believe it or not, I've always looked at it and thought, you know, wouldn't that work for a zero turn? And I always thought they were skinnier. But that's pretty wide. And I'm looking at the tire, and it looks like it'll fit perfectly in there. So, if I'm liking this setup and right where it is, I think I might do it. I might just drill some holes on this side here. And attach that wheel chalk over to this side so I can lock this one wheel in and it won't go nowhere I mean it'll hold it in real good um, but anyhow um, so I kind of came with it I'm gonna put some new stuff there. I just started making myself at home got a spot up front for my trash bin so I got that here but that's all going to change because this is all I'm going to be using trash in my truck I'm going to convert the back of the truck into a container to hold trash so uh, here you go got the zero turn all tied down new setup Wish me luck. I'm out here, you know, this is a, a bit of an upgrade for me. A little bit. It's a lot of a bit, of it, actually. So this is actually a taller... Wow. With that wind. This is actually a taller trail than normal, because normal trails would be about right here. So, it's a little bit extra headroom and actually more room to put some stuff here, but... Uh, I kind of was looking for just a bonus. What didn't have to be, but it is what it is. And I like it. The V-nose. Looked over a bunch of different trailers, um, looking at the straight front, and uh, some of the other trailers just have like a rounded, like a half V, it's not really a real V, so you lose a little space here, they give you, like if it says 16, it's actually 16 up to about right there, really, and then that extra little fit, because the way they bend it slowly, that was the um, carry-on trailers, um, and then the other ones are flat straight across, so you don't you get maybe two or three inches. That's about all you get extra. With this, I get 20 inches of extra space. So you can see what 20 what that does. You know, it allows you to move stuff up to the front. Um, but the V is for aerodynamics, aerodynamics, and all that stuff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is not a brand new trailer. It's three years old, so I'm sure I'm gonna find little things here and there. But um, we'll see. It's working pretty good. Went to McDonald's already with it today. <laughs> Fun. I'll have to show that. I'm gonna put that in with this one. I don't know, but I'm gonna load everything out of here. Just a little cue the music.
my setup for this year. I got one more mower that I'll bring with me, which is a time cutter, 30 inch, but it's always broke. So but anyway, so there you go. I just wanted to show this cool box, which is kind of neat. Uh, not really quite sure if I'm going to utilize this or not. I got the wheels to it. So, but this is actually a really nice tool box, so you truth. I mean, I don't know. I might put it this away and see if it works, and I'll have some space behind it to just shove maybe rakes and stuff back there. I don't know. Um, but it kind of is in the way a little bit, but not a whole lot. If I got rid of it, I can probably put the mowers up, another mower up front here, which is what I think I'm going to do. Um, I can put this box right here. Put it right there. But I think that the zero turns are right, right past it. But anyway, so thank you. Well, so I'm, I'm super excited, extremely excited, whatever you want to call it, super. So, got my home team, Husqvarna out.